Welcome back to our channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Stephanie, stay at home wife, homeschooling mama to four. We started back school yesterday. This morning I got up and fixed cinnamon rolls and my coffee and we gotta get school started. So we're gonna go in here and get that done, get that over with and I've got a lot of cleaning I gotta do today. Got tons of laundry to do. Alright y'all, we got school finished. Um, and it's already 3.30, so I'm about to get in here and get some supper started. I'm sorry for the lighting. I've got y'all sitting on my stove. Tonight on my menu or my meal plan, um, we have beans, potatoes, mac and cheese, and cornbread. So I'm going to get in here and get to cooking my beans. I usually cook them in the Instapot because it's so much easier. It's not as hands-on. And you can cook them from dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how I cook my dry beans in my Instapot. All right, y'all, I got my, my rinsed dried beans. And then make sure you rinse them because I'm sure they have some kind of nasty on them. I don't know, it's probably about two pounds of dried beans. And then I'm going to, I can get in here. I'm going to cut up this onion. I don't know if y'all can see it very good. Let me turn the slot off and see if that helps. Helps a little bit. Not much, though. Anyway, I'm going to cut up this onion and stick in there. Gives it flavor. Alright. Get this onion cut up. And it don't have to be fancy cut. I just cut it up in chunks and let it go. These are the easiest things to cook. And um, on my pressure cooker, mine's not the Instapot. Mine's the Farberware. But it does just as good. Yes, I'm a cheapo. I don't like paying the expensive prices for one, so I bought the cheap one. But anyway, mine has a beans and lentils button on it. And most of the time... I have to cook them twice and then I don't let it release on its own I release the pressure myself after the second cooking so you just throw your onion in there I just kind of break it up a little bit and I, I'm fixing to show y'all what else I put in it I know a lot of people don't put this in it, but it is so good. It gives it so much flavor. It is unreal. All right, hold on. I got to go get it. All right, y'all want to see the surprise ingredient? A bell pepper. You just cut your bell pepper up and stick it in there. I always hate cutting bell peppers. I don't know why. I guess because those little seeds. Those little seeds is hard to get off of the stuff. And I always make a mess. Which I'm not a professional chef, so I probably ain't even cutting it right. I don't care. See? Seeds everywhere. My 
help if I had a sharp knife too. And once I get these on, I'm gonna get my potatoes cut up and boiling on the stove. Because mine like the combination of beans, mac and cheese, and cornbread. And potatoes. I forgot my potatoes. Okay, I'm gonna rinse these off. I'll be right back. Alright. I got my bell pepper cut up in strips. But I like to chunk my bell pepper up into little pieces. And just throw in there. I know this may seem like an odd combination, but I'm telling you, try it. It is so good. The flavor of your beans is so different with the bell pepper in there. It's it's just just try it. I promise you won't be disappointed. Get some of these out of my way. My little cutting board ain't big enough. <clears throat> And those beans are just pinto beans. It was just a bag of dried pinto beans is all it was. Nothing, nothing fancy. Hold on, I gotta get some more stuff. I'm gonna throw in about probably three slices of bacon. It gives it that good, greasy, unhealthy taste. You know, that good taste. <laughs> yeah, about three slices. About all it's gonna take. Okay, gotta wash my hands. until I got time to put it in a bag. All right, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and salt it. I don't know how much salt I put in there. I just put salt in it <laughs> till I think it looks right. All right. And my other secret ingredient, Tony Shashri's Creole season. Pour it all over the top. Okay, be back. Gotta get something else. And here is my other ingredient, beef broth. I just pour the whole big container of beef broth in it and then I finish filling it up to the line with water. All right, I'm gonna fill this up with water. Got that Tony Shashri's up my nose and it's making me sneeze. Probably need about another half a container of water. Salted butter. 
I just throw the whole stick in there and it will melt down into it. Alright. Turn it around here where you can see. Hold on. Alright. That's what it looks like. Looks so good. And I just put my little lid on here. Make sure my pressure switch is turned to pressure. Go down here to menu and go up to eight and hit start. And that's it. I'm gonna let it cook the first setting and then do another setting. And when I start my other time thing, that's when I throw my cornbread in the oven. But I'm gonna go ahead right now and get my potatoes cut up and on, on the stove to boil. Supper is done. Here is what the beans turned out looking like. Those were from dry beans. So, and that's two like 30 minute cooking, so about an hour worth of cooking. So that is done. The mac and cheese is done. Cream potatoes are done and the core bread. And that is what we're having for supper tonight. All right, y'all, y'all remember my sweet potatoes that we planted in this little bed right here that needs to be weed eated around. Y'all, I'm so mad. <laughs> they were so pretty, so beautiful, and I did have a little tiny sweet potatoes. And the stinking horses leaned their little fat heads over the fence and ate them. Oh, I'm so mad. So no sweet potatoes. <laughs> I guess for this year. Ugh. Now I'm about to go out here and gather the eggs because we've had skunk issues. They keep getting in my chicken coop eating my eggs. I gotta have those eggs. I've been water glassing some of them so I can have some for this winter when the chickens stop laying. And I always have issues with this darn gate. They're sitting here waiting on me. They may be out of feed. I think they just filled it up yesterday, though. <laughs> What's your wrong, chickies? Oh, I see an egg. We didn't get any eggs yesterday, so... I think... A little skunky poo has been visiting again. Y'all, look at that guinea. The only one we had left out of, I think, five. And I don't know if it's a girl or a boy. <laughs> but we've got tons of chickens out here. Those are all my little Easter egg or chickens. Let me see. Let me find my one that I raised. Oh, y'all, it stinks in there so bad. I have one left of the one I hatched out. And there it is. It's that dark red one right there. So there's a light red one and a dark red one. The light, the dark red one is the one I hatched out in the incubator. We call him Chirp Chirp or her Chirp Chirp. <clears throat> All right. Still have water and they still have feed. Make sure we don't have no little critters in here because I don't want to get sprayed. And they will not use their little nesting box. They will lay on the ground. So... I have five eggs today. Hot dog. Alright y'all, I got the kitchen cleaned back up. After all those beans and everything. Had a bunch of beans left over. I've got the cats fed. You'll have to pay no attention to my dirty floor. These two cats always eat together. Carl has to eat over there because they always run him off of his food. And I still have not got my tiles put back or put up. But I got everything. That's just my husband's lunch bag. He'll be carrying that tomorrow to work. Everything is cleaned up. Got all papers graded for the day and put away. Those two cups right there, that is Sage's cup. I know she'll come back down wanting to drink in just a little bit, so I just left it out. And the other one is mine. But everything is cleaned up. It just makes me feel so much better getting up the next morning, having a clean kitchen. And it's only 9.44, so I was done before 10 o'clock. Well, 9.45 now. But I'm done before 10 o'clock tonight, so I'm so excited. I'm going to try my hardest to get my honey in a bed at 10.30. It just makes me function better the next day because I do get up early. But 
everything is done bleached the sink again all that good stuff so i'm done for the night all right y'all that's gonna be it for my video today i hope you enjoyed it if you did give me a thumbs up i would really appreciate that if you're new and you haven't hit the subscri subscribe button i cannot even say that word for some reason if you have not hit the subscribe button go ahead and hit it we would love to have you join our youtube family i will see y'all in my next one thank you so much for watching bye